my name is Chase Tater. I built this five by eight enclosed mobile auto detailing trailer. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start by telling the amenities of the trailer. Uh, we have a two inch ball coupler, uh, seven pin connector for your electric, uh, heavy duty jack. We have the spare tire right here. The exterior is an 18 gauge steel rivetless. It's trimmed out in black diamond plate. Uh, we have LED lights on top and bottom corners all the way around. We have a 3,500 pound axle. The axle has brakes, 15 inch wheels. There's a custom door there, that's for the generator. In the back here, we have barn style type doors. Up here is a rain guard. If or when it rains, it helps bring the water out, not down in through the doors. On each door, we have a heavy duty locking latch. So when the doors are open and it may be windy, they're not gonna blow close or open on you. When you get up in it, it's 60 inches from floor to ceiling. And then the exterior height is 85 inches. Over here, you'll see the side walkthrough door. Down here is the breakaway brake controller. I made this trailer as efficient as I possibly could. So here, I'm gonna show you uh, how to open the door and then pull out the generator. So I have the generator on a, a locking slide out, so that just pulls right out like that and locks into position. So here in the back, as you can see, everything is set up so it's very, very efficient and right where you need it to be. There's no in and out of the trailer. Uh, to get to each component. So on the side doors here, I built uh, custom aluminum uh, product holders. So you'll see the bigger ones are for your bigger bottles and these ones are for your smaller bottles. You have that on both the doors. Uh, here are some hanging hooks for your uh, wheel brushes and so forth. I have uh, smaller holes here for your lug brushes or your detailing brushes. Over here is everything set up where the pressure washer is. I have uh, the lance holder here. I have the pressure gun here. The nozzle stowed away there. Uh, right here is the foam cannon. Uh, five horsepower Vacmaster vacuum. Uh, that's connected to a 50-foot Cox hose reel for the vacuum cleaner hose. Here is the general pump uh, pressure washer hose reel. That has the 50-foot Cobra Jet. Over here is the air compressor hose reel. This one here is a retractable lock, uh, so you just pull that out to your length as needed. Here is the 50 foot extension cord for your buffer or any other uh, things you need the electric for. Down here I have the hose bucket fill so it's not necessarily you have to use the pressure washer to fill the bucket uh, if you want to wash your hands off. Uh, it just makes it easier and convenient to fill up your bucket with uh, soap water to do the contact wash. And then that just stows away over here. Here is the active pressure washer. It's uh, rated for 1800 PSI at 1.8 gallons per minute. So over here on the, this side door, we have a few more custom items. Uh, right now I have all the booklets and information for every single product stowed away in here. If you want business brochures made up, uh, you can slip those in there. And here is a business card holder. If you ever have a customer come up while you're detailing a vehicle, and they want a business card, you can go ahead and just tell them to grab one. Here is a glove holder. On the side there is a paper towel holder, and then this is a two buffer holder. And then your extent, your cord just stows away in here. So inside here is the 125 gallon water tank. On the other side of that wall is the water fill spigot. When you turn the water on from the house, it comes up and it goes into these uh, four and a half by 10 inch big blue filters. The first filter is your sediment, then it goes into the carbon. After that, it goes into the reverse osmosis. 
The reverse osmosis is made by Hydrologic. This is a RO1000, so it has a capability of producing up to a uh, thousand gallons of product water per day. After it comes out of the reverse osmosis, it goes into the four and a half by 10 inch resin filter. After that, it comes out, goes into the water tank. Essentially what happens is that's an auto shut off valve. So when the tank fills up, it pushes the float up and uh, the water flow stops. So you don't have to remember to uh, turn off your water. It'll do that by itself automatically. So over here, on this wall I have the filter wrench so this wrench is uh, made for your four and a half by ten inch big blue filter so when you need to change them uh, this tool is easy this screws loose these filters here you're probably going to change every six to twelve months uh, the RO filter is one to two years and then the DI resin depends on uh, the water quality that you're filling your tank with. It's highly recommended that you use soft water from your house. Uh, what that's going to do is it's going to give you uh, longer lengths on your DI resin as well as longer length on all the filters uh, and better product water. So over here I built a shelf. Essentially what this is for is uh, if you want to put your uh, steam cleaner up here or if you want to do some totes and stow, stow away your microfibers, whatever you need, the, the storage is there. There's plenty of wall space in the front of the trailer as well as the side of the trailer if you want to add any type of shelving or uh, stowaway system. So back here we have the water pump and the water filter. So you can see I have the water shutoff valve for the, the main coming out of the tank. This here is your water filter. After the water filter, it goes into the pump. Uh, that way we're not gravity feeding uh, the pressure washer or it uh, helps produce more pressure at the bucket fill hose. The pump is rated for 3.3 gallons per minute at 60 PSI. It is adjustable pressure. This generator has got an electric start, a push button start, or a backup pull start. Uh, so the first thing you do is you come over here just flip that switch on to engage the battery. Like I said, it's a remote start. Go ahead and push the button. The generator starts right up. So in this trailer, I've equipped a remoteless start so you can control anything from the uh, pressure washer to the vacuum to the compressor. Uh, so essentially the reason I did this is uh, so you can turn it on and off the items from the vehicle. The first thing I'll show you is here if you want, you pull the hose to the vehicle. Now all you got to do is just push the button. The vacuum starts up. And then once you're done with it, you push off. The vacuum turns off. That way, if you're not needing it, you can lay it on the ground or whichever, and it's not sucking up dirt from the ground. And then, as I said, when you're ready to use it again, just go ahead and push the on, starts it up. So now for the pressure washer. Grab your hose, grab the pressure washer gun, turn your valve on, bleed the air out of the system, grab your lance, the lance up. Now that we got all the air bled out, what you can do is we can go ahead and push the pressure washer on. Now your pressure washer is energized and ready to go. There's that. The next thing is with your uh, air compressor hose. So this way you can uh, blow away the, the vents or 
whichever you want. You can use a tornado uh, to blow off the seats, the rugs, whatever you want. And then, as I said, you can control the compressor on and off with the remote from the vehicle. Over here is the bucket fill. So you got your, your bucket here with your soap in it. You can just go ahead and turn your valve on and fill your bucket up. You got good pressure. Wash your hands off. Back off when or if you want to. And there you have it. So now I'll show you how to uh, fill your tank. So this is the hose, soft water, from my house. Uh, go ahead and connect it here. Turn your water on. Turn this on. And you'll start to see right down there, that is your reverse osmosis drain tube. That's your rejection water. All right, so this is uh, the noise that it makes when it's making product water. Uh, so as you can hear, it's coming through the filters, going into the reverse osmosis, coming out, going into your DI resin. Uh, so this reverse osmosis is set up to one to one ratio. So every one gallon of product water, there's one gallon of water being discharged. Uh, right there is your TDS meter. Essentially what that does is it reads your parts per million. Uh, or the water quality that you're producing. Uh, up there is your pressure gauge. That just shows you your incoming water pressure. As you can see here, we got the tank filling and uh, producing product water. This product water is perfect spotless water. That's the benefit of this system is so you don't have to worry or go purchase DI water from a DI vendor. Uh, this is going to save you time and money not having to travel back and forth to go buy that product water.